Nick Haig and now Alexio Chinin making their way up to the elevator that will take them to the top of the uh, top of the Soyuz to board. May God bless you. Their on your way. Final goodbyes from the stairs of the launch pad before they get on that elevator. And now just one minute to go. Soyuz now on internal power. We may see just a minute or so of uh, in-cabin views, but then we'll switch to external views of the Soyuz during today's flight. Vehicle to internal power. First umbilical tower there uh, separating from the booster. Thirty seconds now until launch. Ground umbilical to the third stage has been disconnected, and in just a moment, the second umbilical tower will separate. Power on board. There's the second tower. Command for ignition, oxygen. Launch command has been issued. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Engine turbo pump at flight speed. Engine at maximum thrust. Lift off. And there is lift off of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station, carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Ovchinin to the orbital complex. This again is Nick Haig's first time to uh, launch to space, and Alexei Ovchinin's second. One copy. Put on board, and we are feeling well. Hearing good first stage performance for the Soyuz, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. In the first stage, the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. Sixty seconds into the flight. The pressure in the chamber is nominal. One copy. Uh, everything is well on board. They're feeling well. Thank you. Copy. Everything proceeding as a. Uh, Intended for today's flight, now just a little over a minute into it, the velocity of the Soyuz is about 1,100 miles per hour. View here of the crew inside the Soyuz now making their way to the International Space Station. Nick Haig there at the top of the screen and Alexei Ovchinin at the bottom. Copy, everything is well on board. The crew is feeling well. Copy. View here of the Soyuz making its way into space. Everything looking good, proceeding nominally. Inaudible. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz now jettisoned. Everything continuing nominally. Four strap-on boosters have been jettisoned, and they've completed their job, dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. Soyuz traveling about 3,350 uh, 3, miles an hour. Is it emergency of booster 2 minutes 45 seconds, the uh, emergency, the failure of the booster? Failure of the booster? Yes, BS. Yes, BS. Separation? Enable power? Back. 190 seconds into the flight, so he's traveling in, in about 4,700 uh, miles per hour. Don't be in a hurry. Burlaki, copy. Uh, 
We are in uh, weightlessness, you know, according to our sensations. Stand by. Burlaki, do you have F1 illuminated? 11.42.17, failure. 11.42.17 is the time of the failure. F1 on SP is illuminated. Copy. Is the shroud is separated. The crew is feeling well. Everything is well on board. We have crew. Uh, in our hands, and the power is on. Copy. So what are the recommendations of the ground? What about the separation? Did the separation go through? Yes, it did. 11.42.55. For like did you deactivate root power? Now, uh, did you activate the root power? Yes, the root power is on. on. Now, please send the S command. Ballistic uh, descent command is sent from root controller. Copy. 11.45.30. The S has been sent. We have the indicator illuminated. The overload has started. Yes, we are getting ready for the G load. Time 12.46, G load is 6.7. Copy. We feeling rotation. The G load is going down. 1846.20. G load is 272 and going down. Copy, Burlaki. So tighten the straps in work. Hearing there that uh, there has been uh, an issue with the booster and we're standing by for information as we continue to get it from the Russian flight control team, but everything seems to be fine with the crew. We had good calm with them and they are okay. We continue to wait for more information. Let's go to page 32, 3-2. 